Oh, hey, oh. Oh, hey, oh. Welcome to the So Japanese Podcast, a podcast where we talk about all things that are uniquely Japanese. We are your hosts. My name is John. My name is Yusuke. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.、Um, today's topic、um, we're going to talk about temples and shrines in Japan.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, and then we're going to have a Japan English segment at the end.、Mm-hmm. Um, that kind of is fitting to today's topic. Yeah. And then maybe the quick note before we start、uh, obviously, temples and shrines are very、uh, sacred. S- yeah. And also kind of sensitive topic. So,、mm-hmm. like, what we talk about all this is from our view. Yes. Then、uh, we research as much as we could.、Uh-huh. So, yeah, we're not devout followers of.、Um, Either Buddhism or Shintoism,、mm-hmm. but、um, it's part of Japan,、mm-hmm. very much so. And、uh, it's information that we think、uh, we should share, especially if、um, you're a tourist and you want to go check them out. Yeah. So,、um, temples in Japanese is called、mm-hmm. Otera. Otera.、Mm-hmm. And shrines are Jinja. Jinja.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, You'll see temples and shrines everywhere in Japan. Yeah. Like everywhere. everywhere. There's like local neighborhood shrines.、Mm-hmm. Um, there's shrines outside buildings,、mm-hmm. right? There's temples all throughout Japan.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, what are the differences? So,、mm-hmm. temples are Buddhism,、mm-hmm. are Buddhist,、mm-hmm. right? And shrines are Shinto. Shinto. Yeah. So,、um, we will talk about temples first.、Mm-hmm. So,、uh, temples are、um, Buddh- it's Buddhist.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, Buddhism was brought to Japan through India, through China.、Mm-hmm. And、um, you know it's a temple because there's statues of Buddha. Yeah, there's a statue, like big Buddha statues. Mm-hmm. Well, like size it will be different, but yeah. And、um, monks live there,、mm-hmm. train there.、Mm-hmm. Um, how you can tell as well it's、mm-hmm. a temple and not a shrine、mm-hmm. is that temples, there are big gates.、Mm-hmm. They kind of look like buildings. Building gate, yeah. And in Japanese, they are called、uh, Sanmon. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, if you want to be able to tell which is which、mm-hmm. outside, you'll see big building type looking gate.、Mm-hmm. And inside the gate, the building, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.、Um, you'll have like protectors、yeah. of the temple. Yeah, It's, which is called Niozo. Niozo.、Yeah. Um, most of the time, it's like, I don't know what those. Gods or、um, those statues represent exactly.、Mm-hmm. Like, again, we're not devout followers、mm-hmm. of、uh, either of these, but、um, they're like kind of angry looking, muscular, muscular. human form、mm-hmm. type、mm-hmm. statues. And a lot of times, one is open mouth and then one is closed mouth. Okay. Yeah. Do you know the meaning of those? <laughs> It's like. So, like, w- the open mouth is like start conversation and then close mouth finish conversation. So,、okay. it's like a、uh, open to finish. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. And then、um, for shrines,、mm-hmm. so shrines are、um, from the Shinto religion,、mm-hmm. if you can call it a religion. And、um, Shinto is the ethnic belief system of Japan. Yeah. Um, it literally means the way of the gods.、Mm-hmm. So、um, it's, a, it's their native belief system. It has no founder,、mm-hmm. no official scriptures. It's just what they believe. It's their faith, right? Yep. yep.、Um, they believe that humans are fundamentally good,、mm-hmm. um, that evil is believed to be caused by evil spirits.、Mm-hmm. 
So a lot of the Shinto rituals is um, used to keep evil spirits away mm -hmm. by um, purification, prayers, and offerings to the kamis. Mm -hmm. And kamis is the god is in Japanese. Yeah, kami yeah. is god in, uh, Japanese. in Japanese. Yeah, and um, for Shintoism, mm -hmm. they don't believe there's just one kami. No. Right. Yeah, they don't have like one actual god. Because mm -hmm. they believe, uh, they believe in Yao Yao Yorozu no Kami, mm -hmm. which is many different types of God from every every single thing. Okay. Yeah. So, like for example, this plant has a life, has a God. Mm -hmm. Table mm -hmm. has a God. Mm -hmm. Rice, every single grain has a God. Yes. Yeah. So that also, because it's the fundamental belief system, that mm -hmm. also can maybe explain that why Japanese are so respectful for every little exactly. thing. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Everything has a god living in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. I mean, that's a good way to think, right? Mm -hmm. It makes you respect everything. Yeah. Um. So even like the forest has god. Sea exactly. Has a god. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yaoyorozu no Kami is like from the mountain, from the forest, mm -hmm. from the sea, mm -hmm. even from the wind. And then at some point, they also believe in with the human, which is emperor. Okay. Yeah. That. That's the god at some point. The emperor? From, yeah. Oh, okay. For Shinto. So humans can be gods as well? Or yeah, but like gods emperor. Inside the yeah. Yeah. Human? Okay. Yeah. Um, how you can tell it's a shrine as opposed to a temple is that um, one of the most, I guess, famous imagery of Japan mm -hmm. are uh, Tori gates. Yeah. Um, Tori gates. As a foreigner, if I think of a Tori gate, I think of like the red colored gate. Mm -hmm. The big right? gate. Yeah. So if you guys think of the Hiroshima mm -hmm. Tori gate in yeah. the water. Yeah, it's Kushima Jinja. That's the shape of yeah, Tori Gate. Exactly. So they, it looks different from like the temple gates. Mm -hmm. It's different. And um, a lot of the um, shrines mm -hmm. by the Tori Gate, there's also protectors as well. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you can have um, food dogs, mm -hmm. right? That's like. Komainu. Uh, so it's like a. It looks like a lion almost lion like. dog slash mm -hmm. dog mm -hmm. and also some shrines have foxes exactly as yeah. their protectors mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and those fox uh the shrine has fox most uh normally they call inari inari yeah right. yeah um and i think that's for like um the protector of rice cultivation mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. fox mm -hmm. um so in temples mm -hmm. you pray to the main building and generally there's probably a buddha statue mm -hmm. but in shrines it's different there's obviously no buddha yeah it's no buddha so like according to uh yorozu no kami mm -hmm. all the shrine has different god okay. and then they they uh they believe for like different type of things yes yeah so sometimes they have miller sometimes they have a sword mm -hmm. sometimes they even have a huge trees mm -hmm. but uh they don't really show that that things okay yeah so it's not like you can like in a temple you can see the statues mm -hmm. but in the shrine mm -hmm. you don't see those like the main how can i say uh like statues or like yeah, the individual thing that you were praying mm -hmm, to, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like you said, Shintoism believes that there's gods in everything. So yeah, you can pray to anything really in a shrine. Exactly, exactly. And and for shrines, mm -hmm. there are some shrines that are s specific for like to have good health or mm -hmm. um, to make a baby. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. There's a famous shrine that has like um, penis statues everywhere, right? Right. Yeah, and that's for for uh, like fertility. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So, um, 
if you're a tourist or if you're not um, super informed about temples and shrines, mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk about how and the etiquette of entering mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So for temples, for mm -hmm. Buddhist temples, mm -hmm. um, you get to the gate, mm -hmm. the Sanmon. Sanmon, yeah. And uh, you bow once yeah. before entering. Mm -hmm. And then there will, near the entrance, there'll be water and like a ladle mm -hmm. to cleanse your mm -hmm. hand and your mouth. Mm -hmm. Which called Chozuya. Yeah. Chozuya. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then uh, how you do it? Because um, I remember going to a temple in Japan and there's a huge lineup of mm -hmm. people wanting to enter. Mm -hmm. um, and it didn't look, it just looked really random how people were washing their hands and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But there is a particular there's that way. way right? yeah. So uh, you grab the ladle mm -hmm. with your right hand, mm -hmm. and you scoop some water and you mm -hmm. pour it into your left hand to wash. Mm -hmm. And then you switch uh, hands. Mm -hmm. So you grab the ladle with your left hand, grab some water, scoop some water, and wash your right hand. Mm -hmm. Then you change hands again with the ladle. Mm -hmm. You scoop some water, and then you pour it into your left hand, kind of like in a cup mm -hmm. shape, and you um, rinse your mouth out. So you mm -hmm. pour that water into your mouth, mm -hmm. and you rinse your mouth, and you spit it out onto the, the ground, ground in yeah. front of yeah, don't I mean, like, there should be, like, the water coming out. Yeah, so you can keep flowing, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so you spit in there, but yeah. not in, uh, in the water. Water, basin. water, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in some temples, Buddhist temples, well, all Buddhist temples, they will light incense, mm -hmm. right? So you can also cleanse yourself. With the in. smoke. Okay. Yeah. So you kind of wave the smoke around exactly. you over your head. Exactly. Yep. Um, and then you get to the main building of where you're supposed to pray to. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you do that? So once you get there in mm -hmm. front of the main building, mm -hmm. and then you, uh, you bow once, Okay. and then you throw the coin, mm -hmm. which is called Osai Sen, okay. to the... Normally, there's a box, yes. or either you can throw into the building. Yes, you yes. can like you can see, you can tell. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, link the bell, mm -hmm. and then uh, put the hand together, mm -hmm. but no clap. Okay. And then bow once. And at that time, you and you think thinking about... you pray. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to pray. Yeah. And then uh, when you leave, mm -hmm. so you leave, exit through the Sanman, mm -hmm. the main building gate, mm -hmm. and you turn around, mm -hmm. face the main building, mm -hmm. and you bow again you before bow leaving. Again. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then at temples, um, what can you pray for? So in, in the temple, I mean, uh, in Buddhism, mm -hmm. they believe in either the life now mm -hmm. or life after death. Yeah. So you can pray either like uh, for now or you if you want to pray like I want to be good life after death and then you can pray for that as well. Yes. Yeah. And then obviously like for your health, for your love mm -hmm. or for your business, anything. Yeah. I think with temples, they also have like specialty yeah, yeah. temples to, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. pray for certain things mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So that was how to pray at a temple. So for yep. shrines. Yeah. So again, you'll see the Tori gate mm -hmm. or Tori gates, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, you bow once mm -hmm. before entering. Mm -hmm. What do um, what does the Tori gate signify? So Tori gates is basically uh, they divided uh, between spiritual area which mm -hmm. is God lives mm -hmm. or and uh, real life areas which is human lives okay. so like they spread uh, God's living inside the tree Tori gate mm -hmm. so outside is like the normal life where, where we live <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and then same thing they have um, water mm -hmm. to clean your hand and your mouth mm-hmm 
So again, same, same way. thing, same mm -hmm. way. Right hand scooper, mm -hmm. pour it into your left hand, mm -hmm. switch hands, mm -hmm. clean your right hand, mm -hmm. switch hands again, mm -hmm. scoop water, pour it into your left hand, and mm -hmm. use that water to swal no, don't swallow, put it in your mouth. Can you swallow? No. Okay, don't swallow. You, no, no, it's not drinking water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, you cleanse in your body what if before I want, you go me. I want God to be but. inside me too. <laughs> well, maybe you can drink a little bit then. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, again, don't, uh, spit the water out into. Yeah. No, <laughs> the water no, into the bath. Yeah. Um, in shrines, there's no incense. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, um, something to know about the walkway mm -hmm. leading up to the main building or leading into the shrine. Mm -hmm. Um, if that's very important is that don't walk into the middle of the walkway. Mm -hmm, which the middle is of the walkway is called Sando. Sando. Mm -hmm. So they believe that that's where the middle of the walkway mm -hmm. is where the gods walk. Mm -hmm. So as a human, when you enter and exit, mm -hmm. walk to the outer edges of yeah. the walkway. S yeah. So you can still walk on Sando, but not in the middle. Okay. It should be right or left. And then some shrine, they even have the sign which side you can walk okay. to in and out. out. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure I've walked through the middle. Unfortunately, I think I did that too. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. I have. Yeah. yeah. And Especially when I was a kid, a kid doesn't know. Yeah. And then for Japanese kids, shrine and temple is the best play for as a great uh, playground. Because, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, Spacious. there's a lot of, yeah. Well, there's a lot of forest and then there's no traffic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. always more calm. Yeah, yeah. You can do uh, hide and seek or, you know, you yeah, can yeah, create yeah. so many. So many uh, hiding spots. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So then you get to the main prayer er area. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you do that for um, Shinto shrines? Okay. Uh, so when you get the main building mm -hmm. and then you throw the coin or saisen into the box or either same thing like there's an open space you can throw there mm -hmm. and then after that link the bell once or twice mm -hmm. and then bow twice okay and clap your hand twice okay and bow once while that you can think or pray mm -hmm. for whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you, when you're leaving, mm -hmm. again, don't mm -hmm. walk in the middle of the sando. Yeah. Walk to the outer edges. Mm -hmm. And then again, before, uh, once you, after you exit through the Tory gate or before you walk through the Tory before. gate? Before. Before you walk through the Tory gate to exit, you turn around. And you and bow. Then bow to the main building. And then you can leave. Yeah. Um, does it matter what coin you use at either uh, We have the five yen coins, mm -hmm. which call goen. Mm -hmm. But goen mm -hmm. is other word mm -hmm. means connection. Okay. So like, I know a lot of people they throw the Goen mm -hmm. coin mm -hmm. because they want to pray for like, uh, please, I'm going to have good relationship with someone, mm -hmm. good connection with someone mm -hmm. in my future. Okay. Yeah. But obviously any type of coin or even sometimes they throw the bill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so any kind of money. Yeah. Any, any kind of money, Can whatever you a... feel like that's okay. Can I throw a Canadian quarter? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it's just more of a, the symbolism of a, a coin rather than mm -hmm. the denomination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think uh, your um, your wishes or dreams will come true more if you throw a 500 yen coin than a 5 no. yen coin. Yeah. yeah. If you're greedy, <laughs> you can do it. But. It's not supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. God, I don't think God will judge you by price. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, um, this is like a general information. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's different shrines and temples um, that, again, have different specialities. And, For sure. Yeah. And there's different ways of clapping mm -hmm. or praying. Mm -hmm. But this is the general. Yeah. We're talking about in general. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you do, if you follow us and do these, no one's, you're not going to get frowned upon. Right? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. And then so on, at shrines, what can mm -hmm. you pray for? At shrine, uh, because of Shinto, they don't believe that after death life. So there's no life after death. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, like what you pray for is like what you want to achieve on your life now mm -hmm. or what you want to like who you want to be, mm -hmm. what you want to do better. Mm -hmm. So pray for the God. But uh, for the sh shrine, Shinto, mm -hmm. you pray for the God, but you don't believe that getting power from the God. You basically telling the God what you want to be, who you want to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, you kind of decide on that time, I want to be that. Okay, so, so it's kind of reinforcing mm -hmm. and inspiring yourself Mm -hmm. rather than giving it up and mm -hmm. leaving it to the power of God to help you in front of God. Yes. Okay. So, so you have more energy to achieve yourself. So you not rely on the God power, mm -hmm. but you still want to pray for the God to be better. Yes. Yeah. Again, there's different specialties of every shrine, but, mm -hmm. um, general things you can, pray for like health mm -hmm. right safety mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. fertility mm -hmm. um, even to pass your exams mm -hmm. right yeah and maybe uh, I just want to recap about like how you pray temple mm -hmm. and shrine because mm -hmm. it was too long so like temple again only uh, put hands together mm -hmm. no crap mm -hmm and bow mm -hmm. but shrine you clap your hands twice mm -hmm. and bow twice mm -hmm. bow twice clap your hand twice and then bow once again okay yeah so no clapping at a temple temples no the clapping probably is like to um wake the gods up or to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right or to tell gods yeah. like mm -hmm. i'm here yes exactly yeah. Um, so when you go to temples and shrines in Japan, you'll mm -hmm. see a lot of items that you can buy mm -hmm. or there's a lot of like, um, good fortune mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. amulets and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, um, uh, we'll talk about what you can buy or what you can find at temples and shrines. Mm -hmm. So, um, you can get like a, a fortune, right? Mm -hmm. So it's called Omikuji. Omikuji. Yep. So, um, there'll be an area where, um, there'll be like bamboo shaker cups mm -hmm. with like wooden, thin wooden sticks in sticks it. Sticks in it. Yeah. And so what you do is you shake mm -hmm. the bamboo cup until mm -hmm. one of the sticks mm -hmm. fall out. Mm -hmm. And each stick has a number on mm -hmm. it. So the stick that falls out, um, you'll find a box, well, this uh, cubby hole area with mm -hmm. all these numbers. Mm -hmm. So you get a piece of paper mm -hmm. with your corresponding number. Yep. And that will have your fortune. Your fortune, yeah. And then um, in Japan, there's like levels of fortune, mm -hmm. right? all the way from good, really good, good fortune yeah. to... The good one is called Daikichi. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's then all the way to bad fortune. But one is called Daikyo. Okay. Yeah. And uh, in these fortunes, they talk about various things like, again, health, fortune, life, business, relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not so much like um, they're telling you whether it, it's good or bad. It's more like like teachings and mm -hmm. like, um, mm -hmm. advice. Yeah. Yeah. Of, it's like more like advice from God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, even even if you get the lowest one, mm -hmm. but if you read individual uh, topics mm -hmm. and then you might find something good for you. And also it's how you interpret it. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And then when you go into these temples and shrines in Japan, you'll see a lot of 
um, pieces of white paper folded and tied to various parts of the temple and shrine. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the omikuji, right? Yeah, that's the paper you get yep. from the fortunes. Yep. And you can um, tie it. Tight. Yeah. And what does that mean? Why is there so tight? Uh, we say musubu. Mm -hmm. So musubu means uh, you get tight, you get connection. Mm -hmm. So like after you get omikuji, and then you're gonna tie it on a on a special spot or mm -hmm. trees. Mm -hmm. That means you're connecting with the god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it mean like um, if it's a good fortune, I tie it, and if it's a bad fortune, I tie it, or either way, either you, way. like you can tie it or you can take home. Okay. Yeah, but uh, if you tie it, obviously you connect with the god, and then at some point, shrine or temple, they're gonna burn like special way to burn mm -hmm. to uh how send can it I say? up send, send it, it up. up or down yeah. yeah yeah but again you can uh sometimes i kept mm -hmm. and i keep in my wallet mm -hmm. and but obviously at some point you need to throw away mm -hmm. and if you want to throw away you can just throw away if you don't care anything mm -hmm. but to advise you can put the salt with the paper mm -hmm. and either you can burn or mm -hmm. just throw away okay but because salt is kind of help to you know cleanse or yeah exactly and um you can also bring back that paper mm -hmm. to the temple or shrine mm -hmm. yeah and then they can burn it as well right? yeah exactly yeah um another thing you can find at temples and shrines in japan Mm -hmm. are um, amulets or charms omamori omamori mm -hmm. um, they are they look quite nice you know it's mm -hmm. like embroidered pouches mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. but again every temple and shrine has different looking ones different looking ones different meaning for mm -hmm. like for uh, a lot of omamori we sometimes I get present from someone mm -hmm. because of like uh safe for my life or like kotsu anzen which is uh you're not gonna get any car accident or like mm -hmm. you know some traffic accident mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also there's a for for baby mm -hmm. and for love mm -hmm. um a lot of the temples and shrines where you can buy these um amulets and charms there's also english descriptions Mm -hmm. Even with um, the omakuji, there's mm -hmm. like English ones as well. Mm -hmm. So don't worry if um, you're just traveling there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then also you can find emma, mm -hmm. emma, and these are like um, wooden plaques. Mm -hmm. um, what's on the wooden plaque? Uh, emma is all, normally the animal on the ear. So okay. this year is tiger. Yes, yes. Last year is what name? Uh, cow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then you can buy one of those, and then on the back of the plaque, you can write what you wish for. Exactly. Yeah. What you want, mm -hmm. and then uh, hang it to hang it there. <laughs> yeah, There'll hang be it a there. Section where yeah. you can hang yeah. it, and um, that's just a, the god or whatever will mm -hmm. help deliver that wish to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I think as well, the temple, they will burn it. They will burn well. it. Yeah. yeah. And then Emma, a lot of times people use for, uh, to get, uh, high school or to get university or the entrance exams and stuff students. Like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. To through pass the exam and mm -hmm. then they write it down. Yeah. And, um, really popular symbol of japan mm -hmm. that is specific to temples are mm -hmm. the ruma dolls Daruma. Mm -hmm. the ruma dolls and mm -hmm. they're like little uh well oh, could be big ones as well mm -hmm. um it's um like the ruma imagery mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't know how to describe it it's like a ball it's like with a ball face with a face on it, on it. Yeah. yeah and a lot of time you see the red one uh-huh yeah yeah, there are different colors, and I think mm -hmm. the different colors also represent different things. But I think yep. the the regular one is red. the red. Yeah, and also the shape of it—it's also um, 
it symbolizes like because you can't really tip it down mm -hmm. you always come back up mm -hmm. so yeah so what you do is um you wish for something hope for mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. and you use either japanese or chinese like the ink brush ink mm -hmm. and uh, fill in their the left eye because mm -hmm. normally the eyes is blank right yeah yeah and um once the wish comes true mm -hmm. you fill in the right eye mm -hmm. and then you have to take the daruma doll back to the temple mm -hmm. and they will burn it for you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um but the the symbolism of not being able to tip the daruma doll over i think it's like to show like you always come back you always come back or yeah hard work requires mm -hmm. perseverance mm -hmm. right even mm -hmm. if you fall down mm -hmm. you can come back up mm -hmm. get back up yeah yeah um so i hope um this information will help you in terms of like before i went to japan i wish i listened to this because yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> um i didn't know how to do any of these things mm. right what's mm. the proper etiquette mm. Mm. um i would just it's not like i'm a big believer of this stuff yeah. either but uh you just watch how other people do it and you kind mm -hmm. of follow right and you know like you say like so it's japanese like they don't really believe god yes but we still uh goes shrine or temples mm -hmm. for the new year mm -hmm. or be again before you start business or before your exam uh, like japanese people have no religion yes but we still believe in that mm -hmm. like the god and shrine and temples that definitely goes for like all of asia mm -hmm. a lot of asia where mm -hmm. we're not it's not really religion right it's no. more like way of thinking right mm -hmm. and um even growing up in hong kong and over here i visited temples right? mm -hmm. but um we're not big believers of it but it's mm -hmm. just part of the culture exactly yeah and then a lot of buildings and you know mm -hmm. temples are like uh well made yes 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 they've been there for like a couple hundred yeah and then a lot of japanese temples shrines are uh no nail building system exactly so yeah the buildings are built built just with joints just, yeah just with the joint with the wood yes yeah so even um like my wife when we went back and um she loves looking at the architecture mm -hmm. right of, mm -hmm. they're beautiful buildings right mm -hmm. and a lot of the times like um the famous one in kyoto um kiyomizu Kiyo yeah it's like on a mountainside mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. great views yeah peaceful yeah great places to take a walk mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um just and even like the shrines and the temples that are within the bustling busy cities mm -hmm. it's more quiet yeah in those areas yeah. right mm -hmm. but again it's it's not like um it, that to me as an asian going to a temple or a shrine it's mm -hmm. not it doesn't feel like hardcore like i'm going to church no 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 right? no it, it doesn't mean that i'm religious or mm -hmm. I have a, i'm heavily believe in any of this stuff mm -hmm. yeah like for it's me cultural. it's cultural and then i visit there million times yes for for no even think i'm going to meet god or whatever same yeah same. yeah because sometimes uh the japanese community they use as uh, like a community center mm -hmm. and then i used to play like some special japanese martial arts mm -hmm. when i was a kid and then to practice it's always at the shrine okay yeah which one which um mm -hmm. which martial art uh it's called bonote okay What's we that? have like a stick well i was i had a stick mm -hmm. and then we play like a uh, fighting mm -hmm. but obviously it's fake fighting yeah so and then the other guy has a small sword okay so like we play as yeah. fighting yeah. and then the audience has the coin in the envelope uh -huh. and they throw coins to us oh, okay and then at the end we collect all the envelope uh -huh. and it has the name uh -huh. and then we get that money okay yeah as a like 
I don't know how can I say like a uh, for special treat. So I write your name Yamanaka Ruske mm-hmm. on the mm-hmm. on the on envelope, envelope. Okay. and then you just throw to us okay. when we are. Uh, do I uh, try to hit you with it? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I used to do it to my friend. Yeah, you get better luck if I hit you in the uh, head. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, all right. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that information. Mm-hmm. Um, again. Um, with all our topics that we talk about in uh, our podcast, it's something that we think that if you're traveling there or if you live there, mm-hmm. you should experience. You should yep. do yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this brings us to today's Japan English segment. Mm-hmm. Um, very fitting for our topic. Mm-hmm. Today's uh, word is power spot. Power spot. So. Um, you could imagine what it mm-hmm. means, right? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but um, a power spot, mm-hmm. power spato in Japanese means a place where um, there's like spiritual or mm-hmm. energy mm-hmm. Um, from the earth or from anything, just energy, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, to experience healing, mm-hmm. generate good luck, or mm-hmm. rejuvenate your body and soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, we'll uh, give a couple of examples. Mm-hmm. So. I guess every temple and shrine is a power is spot. Is a power spot. Yeah, yeah, of course, right? Yeah. Um, but even just say you got to the top of Mount Fuji. Mm-hmm. Power spot to need that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Although there is a um, Tori Gate on the top of Mount Fuji, apparently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, or even like um, in the UK, Stonehenge. Mm-hmm. Right? Power spot to need that. Stonehenge. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Power spot. Mm-hmm. Power spot to. Mm-hmm. So um, thank you for listening to today's podcast. Thank you. I hope that was informative and you mm-hmm. uh, enjoyed listening to it. Mm-hmm. Um, we're really enjoying making these podcasts. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are learning a lot ourselves. Yep. Um, we're trying to get better, more comfortable in speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it feels really awkward in, <laughs> at mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, please... Uh, continue to support us um we do feel we're getting a lot of support mm-hmm. um so to continue to do to, to continue to do do so please mm-hmm. um subscribe follow like on uh, wherever you find us on any of the social media platforms mm-hmm. um, the same thing is wherever you listen to our podcasts review us mm-hmm. rate us mm-hmm. um and on instagram please try to find so japanese podcast on um on youtube Hi. and subscribe mm-hmm. as well Hi. thank you so much for listening thank you bye 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 bye